Well, hello there everyone, welcome back to Martian Gothic Unification. It is a very glorious day indeed, for I have found the locker key that I have been seeking. It was not in a storage hatch, just as I thought, it was actually on this dead body right here. Oh look, he wants to unify, just like all the- oh shit! He's eating my fucking neck! And I've turned Scottish again! Hold on, let me put some bullets of peacefulness inside of him. Okay. Rock a key. Okay. This is everything I needed. I have dorm room key one, I have electronic screwdriver, and a normal screwdriver, and I have rock a key. Now, we need to head to Dome 1, which is through the bulkhead that was closed but is now open. Okay, where am I right now? I have no fucking clue where I am. God, I am getting so frustrated with this. No, no. You must always remain calm. Remember, nothing is ever as bad as it seems. Okay, just... If you're frustrated too, just take a breath with me, okay? Let's just take a deep breath. There we go. See, everything is fine. Okay, let's find that bulkhead. <clears throat> no, seriously, where the hell is that bulkhead? Oh. <laughs> it was right through the door. Of course. Okay, so now that I'm through the bulkhead, there's actually a danger of me coming into contact with the other team members. So where are they? He's in the Arboretum, which is very far away from Dorm 1, and Kenzo is in here. Okay, so everything's good. Excuse me, sir, I hear a screaming baby in the background. I think you best attend to them. What a good father. He went off to cradle his baby. Where the... Okay, I haven't been here before. Where does this go? It's locked. No surprise there. Oh. Okay. What? Oh. Whoa. Rainbow tag required. Damn it. Wait, rainbow tag. Okay, so that's... I can use that to orient myself. Oh, I see. I'm on Broadway. Okay. You know, I think she has, like, 200 rounds, so let's just use some of them. Uh, did it? Are you serious? Did he just get up again? What the fuck? Okay, I'm going. Bye! Oh, no. Is it the, the crawling thing? Fuck. Quickly! Okay, whoa, Jesus. She literally has more than 200 rounds. Okay, I'm thinking I should stop being so stingy with my rounds. Wait a minute. Do I have some crap I can dump? I'm always looking to take a dump when I can. And now seems like the perfect time. Um... Ooh, note. Now I'm the one who's concocted a subversive substance. 
No kidding. Wow, they... That's so strange. There's some items that literally don't have a description, and yet they wrote a description for when you read this note after you've already done something in ChemLab. That's weird. They focused on some areas, but then completely neglected others. Why would they do that? I don't know, but I don't need it. Alright, passcode Downing Street. Already got that. Already used that. Don't need that. Let's get rid of that crap. All right, I think that's it. Haha. -ha. He couldn't latch onto my face because I was searching a body. Okay, where the fuck am I at this point? I'm, I've got to be past the... Wall... Wall Street? Yeah, Wall Street. Yeah, this is past Wall Street. I think. It, what the fuck was that? Am I poisoned? No. <laughs> Hold on, gotta get the lay of the land. This is where I came from. This goes... Double door, can't open. This... What is this again? Oh yeah, lock. It's locked. All right, I guess I wasn't past Wall Street. Unless... wait a minute. What's this way? Oh, here it is, yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh, you must have had quite the sleep. Got a gangbang going on. Zombie gangbang. <laughs> Searching for enemies. Searching. Searching. Recalculating. Alright, let's search the bodies before they wake up again. Ooh. Ooh. Seriously, another Martian rock? What the hell am I going to be doing with these rocks? Please tell me they stack. Damn it. Holy shit. Someone likes doodling. <laughs> that doesn't look like a doodle. Looks like a fucking diagram. A rough model of a sculpture in Cathedral Down Below. What's with the grammar in this game? It's just... The grammar's not right. A rough model of a sculpture in... In Cathedral down below. It should be in THE Cathedral. In Cathedral? I... Anyway. It's a matter of threes. Three was a fundamental number to the Karakarak. Three by three seems a reasonable progression. Then there are the rocks. Rocks that sing and are shaped to the song and percussion. For the Karakarak, the paranormal and percussion were linked. So, how do I make a sculpture sing? Vibrations. Is it a matter of pitch? A tuning fork? Can a sculpted stone absorb ghosts if it rings out a summon at the right pitch? Am I mad? Yeah, you sound kind of crazy. All right, well, I guess the rocks are related to some sort of an ancient Martian stone song or something. I think I better actually keep this note. I might need it. Well, actually, wait, no, I don't need it. It's just basically telling me that to do some musical thing and activate something, I might need to use stone and something to do with pitch. So let's just write a note like that. Stone... Stone's pitch... Shit. There. That's what my note says. Stones, pitch, shit. I should do. My ancestors will look upon these notes with confusion. 
It's locked. No surprise Ooh. there. This is what I got the locker key for. Bingo. Seriously, another one? I'm almost certain I don't need it. Uh, but I'll take it. Just in case. Oh my god, this one's even bigger. The codes are in color, but the access panel is in black and white, and all the shades of gray. I'm thinking about a frame of reference. Why am I thinking about that? Maybe I'm losing my mind. Matlock, I have literally no idea what you were just talking about. Okay, four Pikmin. Last night I woke up and saw Whitaker looking down at me. For a moment, I thought nothing of it. He was a resident of Arkham Dorm, after all. Then I remembered he'd been dead for nine months. I managed to get away and raise the alarm, but when the lights went up, he was gone. I think it is significant that Arkham and Salem Dorm residents suffer most severely from those strange monochrome dreams. Those two dorms are, after all, the closest to the graveyard. When we dream without color, wandering through alien landscapes, I believe that we are seeing through the eyes of the dead. The dead don't see in color. I have therefore secured my living unit and locker with a color code. Should I follow Whitaker down into the undead world? Only the eyes of the living will be able to enter a color sequence. So in case I go first, here are the codes. Pikmin? <laughs> huh. It's a dead proof code. That's interesting, but I guess what the person didn't realize is that the dead are too stupid to enter codes. But anyway. Hmm. I better keep this note. Yeah, I'm not gonna write... Wait. I'm actually, I'm gonna write these down, but I'm also going to keep the note at the same time. Okay, living unit. It appears there's two codes here. Blue, red, green, yellow, blue. Locker. Light. Wavelength. Of yellow shade. In Seeger's painting. What the hell is Seeger's painting? And how am I going to get that? Huh. Uh, that's going to be interesting. Wait a minute. Maybe that's the thing I was trying to pick up with that RC car. It looked like some sort of a scanner of some sort. Maybe it scans colors? Ooh. Oh, wait, nails? Nah, fuck that. Alright, anything else in here? Wait a minute, why was I supposed to have the screwdriver? It's obviously not for the dorm room itself. Hmm. I think I'm actually safe if I stand, like, right in the doorway. Never mind. Am I safe here? Uh, no. Okay, um... What was I doing? Oh yeah, I need to finish exploring this area. Excuse me. Excuse me, excuse me. It latched onto my face and also became invisible. Okay, that makes sense. Sure. Oh, shit. Did that just poison me? No, but I'm really fucking hurt. Uh, I'm gonna wait until I get hurt a bit more before I try to use one of those things. 
Okay, this is the one you don't want to enter. Duct panel. Or do they call it a grill? There's a heavy breather on the other side. Yeah. That's why the guide said not to enter it, because if you enter it, you die. Because what's on the other side is a trimorph. Okay. <laughs> I want to know, can you use both? Let's try to use the electronic one first. The mystery of whether the non-electronic screwdriver would work will never be solved. Use duct entrance. No. Hey, what's up? Alright, let's just speed this along, okay? Can you please die now? Okay, I'm safe. For a minute. Hold on, <laughs> I better read the walkthrough about this part. Because right about now is the time when I need to save. And the reason I'm reading the walkthrough is because I know the puzzles at this point in the game are just absurdly stupid. Like, they, they just get more and more stupid the further you get through the game. In the beginning, they're just kind of simple, practical stuff like get the key card, etc, etc. But then they turn into stuffing a Mars Hopper balloon thing into a hole to seal it. And they get worse from there. Okay. Eggs the hole and continue towards the end of blah 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 blah. Which can be open with a screwdriver if you examine the duct. Matlock says you can fit inside. Whatever you do, do not climb inside the vent. Uh huh. You're gonna need some help here. Might not be a bad idea to say before you try this. Go through the door at the end of Penny Lane and you'll enter a wide hallway which ends with a large hangar door. That's where I'm at right now. Go ahead and switch to Kenzo. Really? I'm supposed to switch to Kenzo right now? Use the Moot Chair and go back to the Rock Slab. There are two more maps here to take a look at the one that represents Penny Lane. Apparently what I need to do is trap a Trimorph between two doors. And Matlock is the bait. <laughs> Okay, let's just, uh... Let me save it before I go any further. Alright, so... Where should I save it? There's no save point in here, and I need Kenzo to be here. I need Matlock to be here. So he's gonna be my save, guys. So I'm gonna go save in the rec room. Or the recycling room. Or whatever it's called, because I think it has like seven save points left. We're gonna do this thing. Okay. Oh, six saves free. All right, I should be safe here. Alright, so what am I doing here exactly? I'm supposed to go into the chair. I guess the thing I used to open up all the bulkheads is um, there's gonna be like another map or something. Oh, I guess it's what the stick thing is hovering on right now. It's another map. Ah. I must ask Mood about who these giant creatures are before I start playing around with these red ants. <laughs> yeah, the ant is a trimorph. Yeah, it's, it's a bit more deadly than the simple fire ant that it looks like. Um... Alright, so I need to ask her, huh? Oh. Okay, yeah, so this Psionic is... Psionic link to the Penny Lane slide doors isn't too hot. I can't open either of them with the rod, but I may be able to close one of them. Mm-hmm. You don't say. Okay. So... 
I guess the idea is that I lock it between the two doors, and then after it's trapped in the two doors, I go through the vent with Matlock, and now there will no longer be a Trimorph in there, because I believe the Trimorph is in the hangar bay or whatever right now, so I need to get it out of there. Okay, well obviously this is going to be the one I close. Yeah. It's gotta be, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> this one I'm going to close. Because I'm going to be getting as far away as possible. Alright, well, it's, you said I should talk to Mood about the creatures. I'm pretty sure I already have. Is there even a new topic in here? I don't... No, there isn't. Alright, let's read the walkthrough. Change the matlock and hit the switch to open the first hangar door. The door will open and reveal a second hangar door. Oh. You need to press the switch to open the second hangar door, run as fast as you can back to the first hangar door, and then hit the switch to close the first door behind you. It helps if you're facing the direction you want to run when you open the second door. If you survive the chase switch, uh, if you survive the chase, switch back to Kenzo and have him lower the second door. Okay, I didn't really understand that. But I've saved it, so what the hell. Now, one thing I want to know is whether I can switch between the characters while he's in this menu. No, I can't. Okay. So, if I'm reading this right, this first hangar door should be safe to open. <laughs> okay. Alright, hold on. Let me be sure about this. Alright, so I'm at the f I'm at the first hangar door. I need to press the switch to open the second hangar door, run as fast as you can back to the first hangar door, and then hit the switch to close the first door behind you. Okay. <laughs> So, this is the door control, right? Yes. Okay. Oh my god. Are you ready? I'm not ready. All right. So let me take a drink of water. You must prepare your body before you do any strenuous activity. Okay. Here we go. On three. One, two, three! Oh my god! Oh, okay. Big red and symbolize large creatures. Yes, I know that. Like Thank you. One. Yeah, blah blah blah. Done. Yes. Fuck yeah. Uh, no, don't use door control. Oh my god, I could actually do that, couldn't I? I could open it again. No. Ah. <sighs> this. This is the face of someone who's very happy and relieved to still be alive. You can see it in her blurry eyes, her blurry, slightly parted lips, and her blurry nose analog bump. That thing kind of sounds like a bear. Okay, let's go. See ya. Warning. Acute bacterial infection identified in three human hosts. What? The human hosts must isolate themselves immediately. Warning. Acute bacterial what? infection identified in three human... 
What the fuck did she just say? I just accidentally cut her off. And what the hell is that saying about acute bacterial infection must isolate? Didn't we already have to isolate ourselves? Hold on, let me... I have the walkthrough up. Let me see if it says anything about that, because I... Accidentally skipped through her dialogue saying something. Okay, the biohazard alarm warns that there are three infected humans on the base. Mood turns off the alarm, and Kenzo says he'll ask her about the contagion. Okay, I mean, I thought we already were infected. But maybe it didn't happen until now? Or maybe it wasn't identified until now? I don't know, it says Kenzo says he'll ask her about the contagion. Well, let's do that. I'm here. Hi, mood. Are you in the mood? Contagion? Contagion? Anything about contagions? Have you any words of advice? If you haven't worked it out already, stay well apart from each other. A distance of at least ten meters. We've been infected. All three of us. Yes. I just couldn't bring myself to tell you. Very hard cheese. If you need more information, look in the text files in those dull little base computers. Password, Trident. What the hell? Another password? I already have Hammer. Alright. Still don't know what that's a password to exactly, but I guess I'll find it. Um, why is the peaceful music still playing from Kenzo, even though I switched characters? There we go. Not that I don't like the music, but it's very inappropriate. Can't budget. And why bother unless I have to? Indeed. Well, let's see if these bodies have anything on them. Tag. Nadja Kerensky. Nadja Kerensky, geologist, daylog, August 8th, 2018. 11.54 p.m. I just arrived in the shuttle bay. The biohazard alarm is shrieking all over the base. Luke and Ishara and Susan got here before me. But something got to them fast. It made a terrible mess of them. The door has locked behind me. I can't get out, and no one can get in. As the shuttle requires a minimum two-person crew, that means I'm stuck here unless someone makes it through the ducts. Now I think of it, the ducts will be closed in response to biohazard. All things considered, I'd sooner be in Minsk. Communication still not responding. Yori was the last to transmit a message. Stay alone. Stay alive. He must have been thinking of airborne infection from the necropolis. For the official record, I wish to add this observation. Vita Base is haunted. I can hear some movement in the duct. I hope it's human. <laughs> that didn't sound human. Okay, Gray is... Ah, Gray is used in the main room that Matlock has access to, the whole, like, science ward place. Okay. Wait a minute. Hold on, I just realized something. I just found... A woman's audio log on a man's body. The Why would he have her audio log? I mean, it's not as if only male zombies exist. I know there's. I've seen at least one female zombie in the crew. Like, the very first zombie that I encountered was a female, so they have a female model. So, why is it on a man's body? Weird. Oh, 
Holy shit. 378 shots. And a bunch of Dillinger ammo, which I still have not seen the weapon of. Alright, I gotta dump some stuff. Ah. <sighs> I don't think I need that anymore. I've already written down the code. Now nah, I'm gonna dump it. Definitely don't need that. Uh, I don't think I need. Whoops. Don't think I need that. I don't know, that's good enough for now, I guess. Alright, what else do we have to work with in here? Wait a minute, maybe that was a female body, I just didn't notice, because this one looks female now that I look at it. Oh yeah! I think... It is a female body, never mind. It's just, everything looks so shitty that I couldn't tell. <laughs> Please stop moving. Ooh, blowtorch. Oh, and a radio, too. Wait, don't I already have a radio? I do already have a radio. What the hell? Why do I have two? Radio link with Khan and Kenzo. Apparently the only difference between that radio and this one is the fact that this one doesn't give me any options. A standard type of arc welder. It's low on fuel. Hmm. I'm betting that's used to open a doorway. I'm not sure which one. Wasn't there a doorway that was, like, stuck shut? Like, fused shut. I think Karn had access to it. Hmm. 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 Ooh. This, I think, is the escape shuttle. Unfortunately, it requires a minimum crew of two, and if we get near each other, we die. So that's unfortunate. Simultaneous ignition switches over three meters apart. It'll take two to launch this. Hmm. Why would they make it so you need a minimum crew of two? Why would they design an escape shuttle that can't be used to escape for certain number of people? That doesn't make any sense. Ooh. Oh shit, there's the Dillinger. And I have no room. Okay, something's gotta go. And I know exactly what. Let's, get, rock. let's get rid of this Martian rock, let's get rid of that Martian rock, and let's get rid of the herb. And I'm gonna pick it up later. Actually, wait, does she have anything on her? Ooh, she does. 400... 456 shots. Damn. I definitely don't need to be stingy with ammo anymore. Look, Barton. Daylog 
etc., etc. Susan is dead. Ripped apart. Before communications failed, I got through to Nadja and Ashira. They're on their way. If they make it here safe, we'll get a chance to escape. We'll need at least two of us to launch the craft. By the look of it, we'll have to use the manual override to open the bay, so long as Mood opens the override hatch. That means only two of us can escape. I wonder how we'll choose. Toss a coin. I can hear the rumble of bulkheads sealing all over the base. Ah, sure, I just made it here in time. I think I can hear Dodger coming in. And something else is coming. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was so funny, but that was hilarious to me. I think someone else is coming in. Oh god. He had like no emotion whatsoever, but you knew like a Trimorph was just about to smash his face in. Ah. Alright, let's test out this di- The fuck? Uh... Try that again. There you go. The game fucked up. Well, everyone's got a piccolo. In fact, the Dillinger looks almost exactly the same as the piccolo, but given that I found less ammo for it and the piccolo was described as a pea shooter, I'm guessing it's basically just a higher caliber pistol. Um, let's test it. Let's test it on you. Four, five, six, seven. That didn't seem any more powerful at all. I don't even know why I have it. I'm gonna switch back to the Piccolo. I mean, it holds two more shots, which is nice, I guess, but it takes like half a second to reload, so who cares? I don't know. I'm getting out of here. If I can... Oh, here we go. I was going to say if I can remember where I came in, but I do. He managed to grab me without actually touching me. Which way is back? This way is back. Oh, great. Okay, let's just... Never mind. He fell over. I was gonna shoot him in the face. Oh, God damn it! Alright, fuck you. Which one is gray? I think it's this one. Red tag required. Never mind. Uh, this one? Nope. This one? Gray tag required. Bingo. Um Hi. That's that thing I saw in that person's drawing. Something that had to do with Martian rocks and music. The door just rejected me. Is it saying I can't be in here? Hmm. 
Can I not have her in here? No, no way. That music and the shape of that statue, they seem linked. I'm not sure how you can think of a link between them, but okay. Whoops. God damn it, I wanted to search her body. There we go. <laughs> I'm glad I did. I have a remote control for Spiritus. The hell is that? Alright, there's another Dillinger. Great, and the examine tells me nothing. Nine shapes in all. Hmm. Well, it's a rock. Oh, God, she's gonna be so fucking annoying. It's a rock cutter and their shapes, and I have Martian rocks, so I'm guessing I need to put Martian rocks inside. If I could access this tube, please, it's right here. Can I seriously not access this tube? Are you fucking kidding me? The vac tube is right there. There we go. The hotspot for the vac tube is at the door. Uh, okay. Sure. Just take both of these. Just stuff them in here where they belong. A motion rock. Take this back. I really should process this into some sort of a healing thing. And I obviously want that. Oh god, I have too many items. Alright, well I don't think I need the screwdriver. I'm pretty sure I'm not the one that needs the blowtorch. I don't need that anymore. Rover Spiritus? Is that what the remote control is for? I have no idea what the hell it's used for. Alright, anything need a password? Ooh! Ooh, hello. Okay, um... Let's see, trident? No, that's too big. Hammer? I think that's too big, right? Yep. Did I just make the music stop? Because I typed too fast? Why did the music stop? I'm scared. Huh. Okay, well, whatever. I guess it's not too important. Oh, hello. Wow. Looks like we've got a wealth of information here. Background report for base director Felici. Bacteria originated on Earth over 4 billion years ago and are the most resilient life form known to biology. Unrestricted, bacteria would multiply in two months to the size of Earth. Bacteria existed billions of years before the human race, and they will probably exist billions of years after the human race has ceased to exist. Recent speculation connected with the Vita project has raised speculation of... The, what the... Here's the fucked up writing again. Recent speculation 
connected with the Vita project has raised speculation <laughs> of new variants of multicellular bacteria composed of Bacillus, Caucus, and Spirulum. Okay, I've already kind of read this a bit. The Martian variants of these microorganisms have an unexplained affinity for one another. Oh. Is that what each three of us are infected with? A different variety? One of us has Bacillus, the other has Caucus, and the other has Spirulum? And so they're attracted to each other, so if we get near each other, we form a trimorph, maybe? Or something like that? Well, I guess if two came together, then it'd probably be a dimorph, right? And then if that one encountered the third person, then it would become a trimorph? I don't know. Under the electron microscope, they have been observed to form what appear to be primitive multicellular structures above a temperature of 15 degrees Celsius. No such behavior has ever been observed in terrestrial microbes. With the aid of the new breakthrough in electron microscanners newly delivered to VitaBase, we can now study Martian bacteria at a, ba at a magnification of 1 billion, the level of DNA visibility. We have observed what we, be, what we believe to be symbols coded into the bacterial DNA itself. A code within a code. It is too early to judge, but these mysterious codes appear to be similar to the symbols inscribed on the walls of the necropolis. So there was some sort of ancient life here then. Something very intelligent to be able to inscribe codes into DNA. <laughs> Paranormal activity. From Felici to Alan B. 3 blah blah blah, July 23rd, 2018. You expressed keen interest in the reputed haunting of the base. I told you that I don't believe in the supernatural. I still don't, if that means demons and headless ghosts. But I've come to believe in, what shall I call them, living memories. Trask confided, confided in me yesterday that she'd heard some kind of music from Class Alpha Martian Rocks. She said, I can hear the rocks singing. I think they're singing my requiem. I've heard them too, and I've seen some sort of apparition. Arkham Dorm is the worst affected. Apparently it's becoming impossible to dream in color when you sleep in Arkham Dorm. Life's become strange here on the base, and Earth and the company seems more and more like distant memories. Alright, another note. Whitaker, our own walking dead man, seems to be lurking close to the base. <laughs> On one occasion, he actually entered Airlock 5, but left before any action could be taken. Attempts to track him down have resulted in repeated failure. According to witnesses, the ground swallowed him up when they approached him. Total mystery. By the way, I resign. I don't blame you. I would resign too if I saw dead base members coming back from the dead and then getting swallowed up in the earth when you got near them, and I was dreaming in black and white. I would resign too. Pikmin's report. I'm trying to grasp what a haunting is. Exactly how does one define an alien haunting? Are we haunted by ghosts, or memories, or did the Karakarak never truly die? Are we dealing with another dimension here, or an alien collective unconsciousness? Or have we unearthed the veritable demons of mythology? So many questions without answers. There is one dominant theme, echoes. The base is full of echoes. Sound, acoustics, were vital to the Karakarak. Echoes of the past. Uncanny music. Incidentally, I think I've begun to understand the real purpose of the Thule program. As usual, the media have got it completely wrong. December the 4th, 2017. Operation Akarak proceeding on schedule. Terence Whitaker died yesterday. Cause of death undetermined. Following the new directives, he'll be buried here on Mars. Unrequested shipment of weapons and ammunition received. Just what are we supposed to do with guns on a Martian base? Shoot each other? End report. February the 18th, 2018. I went out into the graveyard this morning. The grave of Terence Whitaker had been opened up. The coffin was shattered to pieces. I didn't see Whitaker's corpse, but there were the prints of bare feet in the soil. Request immediate and total evacuation of Vita Base. 
Fancy a holiday on Mars, Allenby? <laughs> End report. December the 24th, 2017. It's been a real Christmas Eve night. No Christmas Eve is complete without a ghost story. I was walking down Baker Street when I heard footfalls following. I turned round and there was no one there. It's such a cliché, I feel embarrassed mentioning it even to myself. I mean, what am I saying? That I'm being followed by a ghost? Yes. Yes, maybe that is what I'm saying. Martian ghosts. Ghosts from when evolution on Earth had progressed no further than the trilobites. Merry Christmas, Judith. <laughs> you know, I think Judith Haraway, or whoever voice acted her, is basically the only good voice actor in this entire game. Well... Ah, uh, there are some other pretty good ones. Or at least one. No, I think there's only one other good one. The voice of Mood is pretty good. But Haraway is actually really good. She's a genuinely good voice actor. Whoever did her. Everyone else is either mediocre or horrible, as in the case of Kenzo. Hi, I'm Kenzo, and I have no emotion. And I talk all quietly like this. God, it was so sad when my entire family died a couple years ago. It's March the 17th, 2018. Outside, the air temperature is minus 45 degrees Celsius and falling. Nadja mentioned that some terrestrial organisms can only exist below freezing point. I keep thinking about that. I dreamt about my son last night. I dreamt he was still alive, but blue with winter and calling to me from the surface of red cold Mars. I can still feel that alien presence emanating from down there in the necropolis. Time and memories resonating in the stone. The tick of the clock in the rock. The final countdown. Judith Haraway, project director. I've heard her voice before, but where? You already said that, Matlock. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, that was actually the last one. Okay. How many saves do I have here? I do actually want to save it. Four saves? Yeah, I'll take it. What am I on? Save 12? Uh, what? Um... Something tells me I'm not supposed to do this yet. But fuck it. Here. Go back to sleep. <coughs> um, is it gonna come back anytime soon? Oh! Whoa, whoa! Ugh. Fuck! That was loud. Okay, yeah, it's um, emanating some horrible psychic screams. Oh, there we go. What did you find for me? A trail finder mini rover for unmanned exploration. Um, I guess I found nothing. A trail finder mini rover. Yeah, I need some information to use this properly. I guess I need to find samples from, like, the dig site or something, but I need to know where the dig site is. And I don't. Let's check out the rock cutter. Uh... Well... I saved it. So, sure. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, but 
I'm doing it. Okay, well, there's four holes on this thing, so I'm guessing I need four Martian rocks in total. Hmm. Oh my god. Waiting to be finished. Yep. Alright, need two more. And I'm guessing I get the other ones from the dig site. Shouldn't there be information about the dig site on this computer, wouldn't you think? Hmm. Unless it's an unrestricted? Hold on. It's not going to have any information about a specific dig site. This is like general Wikipedia stuff. I need, like, project notes. No, no, no. No. Chronology, maybe? Nah, I'm not going to find it here. I think I just need to come back to this later. Thing is, though, what can I do now that I couldn't do before? Okay, what is this? It did nothing. I just realized she needs health. I have no idea what Spiritus is. Let's go in here. Okay. What can I do? I have the blowtorch. So I can do a blowjob, but I'm not sure on what. Something needs to receive my blowjob, but what will it be? I want to say it's from him. I think it's from him. Let me go see if I can find a door that's sealed. And while I'm at it, let me see what I have in here. Blah, blah, blah. Biosensor. And a pop gun. Nope. Alright, well, since I'm here, let me pick up the blowtorch. Don't need the screwdriver, but I'll take the welder. This door, isn't it? Bolt lock 779 locking mechanism. Yep. Looks like the lock's been deliberately jammed from the inside. Alright, let's give this a shot. Booyah! Fuck yeah! Gotta get it was this some bit. kind of overlock. I've cut right through it. Ooh, I think this is. Well, I'll let you see. <laughs> it's the kitchen. Alright, what do we have on the wall here? I believe that says creative unreality, and then there's a picture of a monster which has three heads. It's a trimorph. 
Creative Unreality. I have a feeling they were the developer and or publisher. Ooh, sounds like there's someone here. See, over on the wall there to the left, it says, I'm the purple s uh, schizoid octopus man, I think. What does it say below it? Hades, Erebus, Bliss, Iblis, who the hell knows? It's a disease and it thinks. Keep on something. Excuse me, is anyone home? I'm looking for a warm meal. I appear to be incapable of going between these, these here tables. There's something wrong with my feet. It's a condition. I've had it since I was a kid. Presented some problems getting around my cramped house, but I dealt with it. The writing on the wall. Is that... That's a miniature guillotine. What the hell? <laughs> Let's see, text above the door says, Kill a Trimore for Jesus. Gladly. A man of many parts. Picture of a headless man. Okay. And the... Beasts shall inherit the earth. Oh, hi! Whip. 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 <laughs> okay, let's actually talk to him. Ben Gunn. In fact, I believe I found a note from Ben Gunn. Yeah, I definitely found a note from Ben Gunn. I'm not sure which one. One of the passwords or something or other. So, um... About that note. There was a note in a back tube on Sunset Boulevard. Was that from you? Ah, Jesus! Sunset Boulevard. I sent Fuck. all my mail to Sunset Boulevard. I'll keep that in mind. I guess I just heard the psychic influence from... Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Does that... Hold on. Is that hurting her? Like, is that hurting everyone or something? No, never mind, she's fine. Okay, I guess it's just things getting nastier. Yeah, let's not even introduce myself or mention the oddity of anything. Let's just talk about the Enigma mission. I'm part of the Enigma mission. Enigma? Total mystery to me. I saw your ship crash. Laugh my head off! <laughs> the base directional beacon was out. There was a mother of a dust storm and the terrain around here ain't exactly flat. I'd say we were lucky to make it here in one piece. Hey, you knew we were coming. I wondered who's been putting keys and stuff in absurd places. Yeah, that was me. It's all a part of your intellectual training. Puzzling things out. I got it from Martian Mayhem. Oh, God, don't tell me you're a Martian Mayhem fan. It's the only game in town. Yep, we've got some self-references there and some extremely weak excuses for the stupidity of the puzzles. Do you live in the kitchen? Where else would I live? Are you managing for food? There's plenty of food cans and plenty of meat. Yeah, what exactly have you been cutting in that guillotine? It's not people, is it? What the hell is that? It's my very own bacon slicer. Constructed by my own hands. Why build your own bacon slicer? To slice bacon. There's no arguing with that. <laughs> Ironclad. I don't think much of the decorations in the canteen. I won't say a thing until you bring me a pumice stone. Hmm? What? Why the hell do you want a pumice stone? That came out of nowhere. I have one, but why do you want it? There was a note in a vac tube on Sunset Boulevard. Was that from oh, you? Oops. 
already mentioned that. Okay, one thing. The name says John Farr on your ID bag. Yes, that's right. I'm John Farr. Dr. John Farr. Medical officer. Bio lab something. No, that was in another country. And besides, the wench is dead. I'm Ben Gunn. Alone on Trimorph Island. Pieces of my, pieces of my. X marks the spot to Captain Flint's chest. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay. I guess I need to give him pumice for some reason. Now, who has it? Or did I stuff it in a bulkhead? Oh no, he has it. <laughs> 